Half of the wildebeests in the Serengeti are seemingly missing in the latest survey of the region. An AI-driven model has unexpectedly shown there are fewer than 600,000 wildebeests in this part of East Africa, less than half the previous estimate of 1.3 million. Over the past 50 years, researchers have monitored their movements and counted their populations using aircraft and aerial surveys. Some of the herds are photographed as a plane cruises over them in a straight line. Then statistical models are used to extrapolate how many wildebeests are in unsurveyed regions. Now scientists at the University of Oxford have tried something new, satellites and AI. Here's a report. A new study using artificial intelligence to analyze satellite imagery has reduced the estimated number of wildebeest in Africa's Great Migration to under 600,000. About half the long-standing figure of 1.3 million derived from aerial surveys. Researchers from the University of Oxford's Wildlife Conservation Research Unit in collaboration with Princeton University, the University of Hong Kong, the University of Twente and other institutions trained two deep learning models to analyze high-resolution satellite imagery captured in 2022 and 2023 across 4,000 square kilometers of Tanzania's northern Serengeti National Park and Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve. These findings challenged the traditional aerial survey estimate of 1.3 million wildebeest, suggesting a population closer to 600,000. So we were quite surprised at our findings. So the, the estimate from manned aircraft survey is 1.3 million. Um, and in neither year, because we cut, uh, conducted the study over two years, did we find more than 600,000. This raises some big questions. Has the wildebeest population collapsed? Have the animals moved? Is the AI wrong? Or has this new method simply revealed that the old estimates were way off the mark? Every year, droves of wildebeests circle the Serengeti Mara ecosystem in a clockwise migration, joined by zebras and antelopes as they avoid the hungry eyes of lions, crocodiles and hyenas. Over the past 50 years, researchers have monitored their movements and counted the populations using aircraft and aerial surveys. Some of the herds are photographed as the plane cruises over them in a straight line. Then statistical models are used to extrapolate how many wildebeests are in unsurveyed regions. We don't think that there's been a population collapse necessarily because we would find carcasses, you know, scattered across the landscape, which is not the case. Um, but perhaps the number has has dropped um, naturally, as well as there being some discrepancy in the previous counts. Traditional aerial counts conducted since the 1970s rely on sampling narrow flight paths and extrapolating across vast areas, which can lead to inaccuracies from uneven herd distribution. Satellite surveys cover larger areas, up to hundreds of thousands of square kilometers, without disturbing wildlife. Though current resolutions may confuse wildebeest with similar sized species like zebras and eland. The lower tally prompts questions about potential shifts in migration patterns rather than a sharp population drop, amid pressures from habitat loss due to farming and fencing plus changing rainfall from climate shifts. In the future, we will be able to image, you know, 4,000 square kilometers um, at a daily basis. So we can we can track their migration in real time. And we can also look at things like collective behavior um, and movement patterns. The researchers are keen to unravel this uncertainty because a satellite based approach offers a far less invasive and much more efficient way to monitor wildlife across vast and remote landscapes which could prove vital for conservation. 
Africa Bureau, we own World is One.